what is that nervousness? What's that? What is that nervousness as a player? It's been uh, for me. I can only speak for myself. It's it's been seen as a as a finalist choker about not being able to get it done. Oh, these are the you know the perennial finalists, mm. but can't get over the line. Can't can't manage to deliver their best. But how on does the it manifest stage. in the week before? It. I think it's just. It's probably you internalise it. It's not something that's talked about from a team point of view. You're doing, going through all of the same processes. You're doing all the same work. Nothing changes from that regard because there's, by the time you get to a final, you've, you've played really good rugby to get mm. there more often than not. You've, you've been deserved there. So you're coming on the basis of confidence, but then you lose three finals on the bounce and you go, oh, right. So you just play with... I don't necessarily think you play with a, a twitchiness, but I think the hours and days in advance, you think about it a lot more, you play it over the head a lot more, and it's just harder to eat your pasta that day. You know, it's just, it's one of those where you go, gosh, I've re a real butterflies. More often than not, when the whistle goes, you're just into the moment and you and you get caught in that, and, and that's the easy part. It's actually the build-up is the excruciating part where you're, playing out different scenarios in your head if this happens or if that doesn't happen and what if they go well and it just it's 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 an opportunity for a, a bit of negativity to creep into your mindset